Yeah, we are dealing with rain right now, so keep the umbrella with you today, tonight, and tomorrow with more of it on the way. Yeah, you're going to want the umbrella, the galoshes, and probably extra pairs of socks because as we keep with the rain tomorrow, cold air moves in and it's going to be frigid. Yeah, so as we go through the day tomorrow, temperatures dropping and we'll keep an eye on the transition from rain to it looks like freezing rain. There may be a couple of sleet areas mixed in, but more freezing rain than anything. Which isn't the most fun type of winter weather, but it is our cards that we are dealt and we will get through it together. So quick notes for you today. Tomorrow we are going to be dealing with quite a bit in the way of precipitation. Very liquid today, mostly liquid tomorrow for areas east of I-65. So all in all, we're looking for this event to bring around two to four inches. There could be a handful of spots that have a little bit even more so than that. Now Thursday afternoon, if you are from Clarksville to Waverly areas north and west, you guys are the ones that we're really focusing on as far as the rain transitioning into freezing rain. And remember, they look similar. They're both really cold when that cold air moves in, but the freezing rain, it does turn to ice on contact. So as you know, bridges and overpasses tend to get the glaze first, and it can be really heavy. We will have a drier weekend, but it is going to be incredibly cold. Right now, we are far from being cold. It is mild. Current temperature in the city, 48 degrees. We got 46 in Clarksville, where we almost have received a quarter of an inch of rain since midnight. The Power 5 radars have been pretty busy, and we will continue to see these showers on and off as we go throughout the day. The larger picture, yes, there's a lot of snow involved, and this system is making a ton of headlines, and you can understand why. It's impacting a lot of people. There are some winter warnings watches all across the area, even going over to New Mexico, just over into Maine. We'll see a few of those here, but Leland, today we're not necessarily worried with the winter weather because it's so warm, but we've got a lot of rain and things are going to change. Yeah, definitely things are going to change across the area for you. Uh, if you're getting out and got to walk the dog today, one of those days you just kind of stand at the door uh, <laughs> and, and let the dog go on out. Uh, but here's a look at what is happening for us as we go through the day here in Nashville for us this afternoon. Uh, we're going to see that uh, temperature push up to just 57 degrees. So just kind of the red paw all day. Now this morning it's more rain area wide rain into the afternoon. It's more scattered showers and then more waves of rain arriving for us overnight. But let's show you what is happening with our temperatures here in Nashville, pushing only into the 50s for you today. We'll run exact track and as we do so across the mid south for today, it does show the showers and look at the temperatures upper 40s, low 50s across the mid south. Key thing, key Keep in mind this area of green and then there's the pink and beyond that uh, there's a lot of winter weather. So I mentioned this yesterday. If you've got travel plans, especially west and northwest, uh, reevaluate that the St. Louis area. They're talking about a ton of snow up their way. Meanwhile, for us overnight, we're still dealing with rain all liquid, but notice those temperatures starting to drop a little bit in the western and northwestern corner. Now there could be a little bit of that change over in the morning, but it does look like the bigger threat for that changeover is going to happen as we go into the afternoon. Now we do have some of our northern counties under winter storm watches and through here ice storm warnings. Nothing yet for the metro area, but don't be surprised if a good chunk of Middle Tennessee later today or tonight put under a winter weather advisory for today. 57 overnight tonight, 46 and for tomorrow we're 44 and then cold for the weekend. We sure are. So if you do encounter some of that freezing rain, of course the ice, it will stay pretty much frozen, making our way into Saturday morning with the teens by the afternoon. 40 slim chance for one or two showers Sunday high of 45, but you'll notice those morning lows back in the 20s and rebounding into the 40s, which is actually below <laughs> average for this time of year.